A good morning, guys. Welcome to today. Shotgun! No phone. 8.03. Let's get moving. Come on, Soph. Gabby. Slow pokes on the run. Can I have no lunch? Gabby, you got your lunch? Or no lunch? <laughs> yeah, they were complaining to me yesterday they didn't have enough to eat because it's a long, busy day. You have to walk up and down from to the bar like five times in a day, and it's far, like 20 minutes Close each that. time. Close that door. Yeah, 10 minutes each way. Bye, Romeo. I'll see you later. Bye, Romeo. Let's Romeo head out. Right at the door. I don't know what's on the agenda today at horse camp, but I know it's going to be a fun day. And today, we're bringing Toby along. Toby. Yeah, let's go. Judge our messy car, you guys. It's called I don't have time to clean it yet. Look at my butt heart. <laughs> Alright, let's do this. Alright, we are here. Can you please carry my happy cooler. backpack? Yeah. Grab the cooler, Mom. It is a much cooler weather today, huh? This is a Sophie's backpack and it's got wheels that light up. Everyone was looking for a glittery backpack for Claire. And we got a jug of water. Okay, close the door there. And um, my dog has been kidnapped. Wait, wait, come back. Toby's going to horse camp, you guys. Isn't it cool? He's so little, you can carry your phone and him. <laughs> look it, look it. Then compared to my phone. Yeah, he's the size of a cell phone. Right, let's do this. Horse camp. Take two, wait, outfits. No. Yeah, Gabby's got on tan breeches and a crop top, which is her favorite. And so he's got on a unicorn shirt. I am home and I am excited to get some work done. Basically, I have three more videos to edit this week. One of them's gonna be a crazy long and the other two are a little bit easier and I'm doing both of them today. And then I'm gonna get a chance to clean my house, you guys. You might not think that cleaning your house is a fun thing, but for me, especially organizing, oh, my favorite thing. I never get a chance. My house is a write-off. Um, I've just been glossing. I have laundry folded everywhere. I have so much work to do. Today, I'm gonna do it, though. I'm gonna get it done. Got my handy dandy breakfast here. Got my phone in case somebody fun messages me because sometimes when I'm working, I get bored and I wanna take a five minute break and somebody fun will message me and I'll like chat with friends and stuff or I'll do comments because you guys are all my friends. But anyway, let's get to work. I am in Gabby's room cleaning out her closet, getting ready for fall stuff. For fall, you guys, it is almost fall. Anyway, um, I'm just waiting for our video to upload on her channel. Uh, so you guys wanted to see her entire show, her horse show, she did Hack Division. Um, there are four rounds in the Hack Division, so all of them are there, and what she placed in. In the meantime, I am sorting through this stuff because I wanna start fall shopping, back to school shopping, and I am thinking to myself, my kids pretty much don't wear a lot of long sleeve shirts ever. Um, and Gabby has all these shirts that she wears, these collared shirts, these polo shirts, like a lot of them. And she has a bunch of horse shirts too. She's got some horse shirts like that. She's got a bunch of these, um, these bench shirts that she didn't wear this year yet, or that she hardly wore. Um, so I think what I've decided for Gabby is I'm gonna buy her some sweatshirts. She actually got some sweat, some hoodies and some sweatshirts um, already this summer. I think I'm gonna buy her a bunch of pants, um, a couple of long sleeve shirts, and a couple of sweaters, and then let her wear all of her summer shirts for winter because that's what she likes to do. Anyway, and then for Sophia, I think she probably will need a whole entire wardrobe. First camp, mom fail. Apparently Gabby forgot to be suit today. Which basically means I did not pack her one. And so she had to swim in her shorts. Uh-oh. <laughs> so Ruby, if she hears us at the back door, she will hop the fence. And if she thinks I'm mad at her, she'll hop the fence back in. Ugh. Anyway, 
yeah, so yeah, she swam in her shorts and her t-shirt. Thank goodness she had shorts. Actually, I should bring her, okay. Anyway, um, uh, so uh, our instructor called and said like, hey, your kid doesn't have any clothes to wear. It is scorching hot and she's wearing her sweatshirt that I packed. So yeah, I packed her a sweatshirt because you know, it's like July and not a bathing suit. So I'm gonna go there now and I'm gonna take her some extra clothes and then is my riding lesson. I can't even believe it, so I have to show you guys something. So I don't know if you guys can see, but I'm wearing these leggings, these riding breeches, and they have the pocket up here. They're the exact same ones that Gabby has. She wears the gray ones. Some of you guys have commented on how nice they are. Well, the first time I wore these, my girls were like, ew, they look terrible on you. Um, so I've been wearing my other ones, and I put these ones on today. Oh my God, so comfortable. They're my Noble Outfitter ones. I love that Noble Outfitter. Everything they make is amazing. Hey, Stella. Everybody thinks that you're having a baby because you have an actual shape now. Oh, you need a new salt lick. Yeah, it's on the list. Stella is not pregnant. She does not have a full belly. You'd be able to tell there'd be other signs. Like her, she'd, oh, actually. What? Oh, we need to clean her, her. We need to clean her, but she actually. Where did she do her boobs? What do you guys think? Cause I was gonna say, they're not bagging up at all, but they're pretty huge. I better take a picture of that and show Fiona. Cause, oh my God, imagine she's pregnant. Imagine she's pregnant. I'd be adding Spencer. Wait, what is that? Stop. Stop. Oh, it's weird. I'm gonna take a picture. Please don't poop. Please don't poop. Please don't poop. What is that about? Is she in heat? Oh, maybe that's the problem. Sophie, you're so smart. Oh. Uh, Stella's saying no, she doesn't want to go up there today. But even when she refuses to go up and she says no, she's still a lot easier than Sabrina. Still, right to the very last day, it still took us some convincing some days, huh, Sophie? What? Can we have a buddy like Spencer so I can add No, him? just take her. I love Spencer. Come on, tell her she has to go. I don't want to whack you because she, she doesn't want to, yeah. Does look like she's pregnant now, though. But she's not, you guys. 100% she's not. 50-50. 50-50. Yeah, we don't know. But, I mean, you never know, right? my jumping vest. You jumped Spencer and you wore your jumping vest? How was that? Because Fiona made me. Yeah, our, her jumping vest is terrible. I need to get her a new one. We'll look for that. That'll be oh, on our list. And um, this is Spencer's jump. It was nice and easy? Yeah, it's like I'm just trotting poles. Oh, so I cantered poles and I played canter catch up. Oh, who'd you play canter catch up with? Gabby and um, the other girl. Um, remember last year at camp? You were not even cantering yet. Oh no, I was. No, not last summer. No, just, oh. I think I was on a lunch line on Jasmine. No, not last summer. You did that in the winter. So Gabby's riding first. And she's already ready. By the time we got up here, she's already ready with Storm. How are you doing, Storm? Listen, dude, we have to talk about what happened last week. I promise to be better. There will be no waffling on my part, and there will be no jumping on your part, okay? No jumping today. Let's go take all those jumps down just in case. Snowflakes are coming down Collapse into water when they hit the ground I hear the sound of 
empty streets Yesterday has gone to sleep So all that's left is you and me I can promise you're the only thing I see Hold my hand and hear the words I say Close your eyes and let us fade away For you and me Let our minds be caught up in a dream Quiet voices in the night Good boy Right over those two poles Time is running out of sight A lonely wind is passing by Tries to carry all the whispers that it finds Take your booty out! Take your booty out! Booty, 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 booty! Booty, 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 booty! Bend those knees! There's no one left but you and me It's like a made-up place that only we can see Hold my hand and hear the words I say Rising. Close your eyes and let us Stop fade that. away Build a secret place for you and me Let our minds be caught up in a dream Standing underneath the lights Look into each other's eyes There's no one left but you and me When you wrote him earlier, did he feel it's easy to get going? Only we can see. Like earlier today, was he a little easier to get going into a faster canner?